tutti, we're day 42 of our wine quarantine, and tonight we're talking about one of Italy's hottest grapes out there, Pecorino. Pecorino's curious names refers to the shepherds that ate the grapes while accompanying the flocks up and down the valleys in search of food during the so known transumanza. As a matter of fact, once upon a time the grape was referred to as Uva delle Pecore. The great success of Pecorino in the last 15 years is thanks to the Cocci Grifoni estate in the market and definitely also the Catal di Madonna estate in Abruzzo. Specifically in Abruzzo, Pecorino always lagged behind the more known Trebbiano d'Abruzzo wine of the area. There are three main biotypes of Pecorino used today for the production of wines, one being a five lobed leaf Pecorino with medium sized bunch and loosely packed, then there's a three lobed leaf Pecorino with smaller compact bunch and berries, and the rarest of them all, which is also a three lobe leaf pecorino with larger compact bunches as well as larger berries. Pecorino is definitely a rustic resistant variety that likes a m cooler microclimates and clay rich soils. It is mainly grown in the southern part of Marche, specifically in the area known as Offida, right here, but also in the whole region of Abruzzo in a variety of DOC and IGT appellations, although Pecorino these days is also found in Lazio, Umbria and Tuscany throughout central Italy. In market, typically the wines are macerated on the skin that gives a, a richer, fleshier, creamer type of palate and mouthfeel, versus in uh, Abruzzo, maceration on the skin is not so common, so the wines tend to be fresher, crisper, and brighter and very clean on the palate. Uh, you know, in Pecorino, the, the usually we find characteristics uh, of aromas, they're delicately herbal, like sage, mint, but definitely balsamic nuances, a beautiful crisp uh, green apple and pear, and most importantly, the quintessential burst of high acidity that is commonly associated with this grape. Now, the wine I wanted to show you tonight, it's from uh, Abruzzo specifically, from the Cerulli Spinozzi estate, it's called Cortalto, and this is a 100% um, pecorino that comes from uh, the Colli Aprutini IGT area, vineyards located about 300-400 meters of elevation, and very rich soils in clay, and ultimately the vines are average 10 years of age. This wine is 100% stainless steel, although wine spends 8 months on the lease, which does help, uh, you know, smoothen the edges of the high sharp acidity typical with the grape, and figure this is a 2016 example, so I'm really excited because Pecorino is a grape that can perform quite well as it ages in the hands of a grape producer. Now, let's take a um, look at the color. This is a beautiful straw yellow color, maybe with a little bit of gold into it, but not over the top. And aromatically, there's like a mealy, almost like a fennel front quality, which is beautiful, but backed up by so much citrus fruit. Here we have a tangerine, we got ripe Meyer lemon, we got a little bit of lime, definitely grapefruit element, so really really bright, crisp and intensely citrus aromatic nose. On the palate, the acidity super clean, keeps the wine very fresh, very up and elevated, but definitely has a beautiful sapidity and nice minerality. This is a fantastic wine definitely to accompany with the I would say a beautiful branzino, you know, either grilled or baked, a lot of seafood cuisine, but why not a piece of cheese? So, Marcello, porta il pecorino! Ah, this is Marcello, this is my pecorino, we're all set for the evening. It's all for today, in Alto Equori, ciao!